Hello everybody and welcome back to Don't Starve. I am Red King and we are going to keep going now that I am Wow. Oh. Now that I've made a garden that's growing slowly, I guess we can move forward with life. What do you want, B? I will ah, go for the eyes! Kill it! Honey. Ah! Bees! Run! Leave me alone! Why is the first thing I do make bees mad? At least it stopped raining. Pick up, pick up the flower. Don't fight the bee. Pick up the flower. Don't fight the bee. You just made them mad, and they come after you. There's so many beehives over here. Eat the flowers. Yes, yes, it's getting dark. I know. Life is so terrible. It's so dark. It's actually pretty bad here. This is pretty much like the, one of the weirdest places you could be. I don't know how I'd feel if I got dropped. Actually, me personally, I would think I would be okay, but I'm also one of those crazy prepper-ish people. I swear, when we had the fires out here in California, yeah, I'm out here in California. Southern California, mind you. So it's always nice. That's why it's, you know, sleepless and everything like that. But, uh, yeah, out here in California, we had some fires not too long ago, and it was, whew, they were everywhere. Everything was on fire. It did not matter where you were what you were doing it was on fire I actually got evacuated from work one day it was pretty intense but um yeah I mean it was I was prepared my I remember my mom was just like oh no what are we gonna do like when what happens in case like the uh, the the you know the fires come our way and I was like my mom it's okay I got this I I know what I'm doing everything is fine and she she was like are you sure like are we okay are we really okay and I ended up showing my mom my entire bag, which is just this big old, big old thing. It's like a military-grade issued bag. Uh, I have a tack vest to go with it. I have all sorts of garbage. Uh, and if you didn't think I was crazy before, now you do. But uh, now, you know, it's pretty worth it. I really, I think all of that stuff is really useful to have. I mean, even if it's not like end of the world apocalypse crap, which is what a lot of people are into, which is like zombies and other things like that, I kind of... Everyone prepares for weird things like that. I prepare more for, like, you know, hazardous materials like that. Maybe, like, biological warfare. So I have, like, a respirator and whatnot. Just in case. You never know. Because our... You know, this may be, like, one of the most peaceful times to, of, you know, of our entire human history. But this is also one of the times where we can do the most damage to each other with the minimal amount of effort. Which is kind of scary in itself. But overall, it's still really cool. Not the doing damage, but the, you know, being smart and having a nice peaceful time. Anyways, moving on. I now have this little guy named Chester following me. I don't know who Chester is, but he is super useful because he can just hold so much crap. Come here, Chester. I want you to hold my shovel. Take my shovel. Take my fishing pole while you're at it. Oh, no, Chester. I forgot. I need fire right now. How many times have I done this now? Eat the flowers, be happy. Eat the berries, eat the berries. Eat that. Yeah, go to sleep, Chester. Bastard. But yeah, I mean, everyone, I believe everyone should be prepared for some sort of event. Because in California, we have fires and we have earthquakes. And, you know, earthquakes here are kind of just meh. Like, it's really not that big of a deal. I've lived here all my life. All 20... All 24 years of it. And uh, it's just been... You know, they've been very mad. There's no real good... I mean, we even have the fault line in the San Andreas. And it's it's still not even that big of a deal. Because we just don't even... I mean, it's such normal life for us out here. That earthquakes are just not a big deal. Which is strange to say. Because, you know, earthquakes kill people. Japan's had a lot of them. Oh, dang it! I just added fuel to that fire for no reason. But I mean, yeah, earthquakes are a big deal, but not out here, which is really strange. It's the fires that really get us. Just because we have so much area to cover and dry brush and dead things. But, uh, yeah, I mean, everyone should be ready for something. If you're not ready for it, that kind of just, you know, just kind of leaves you in a bad situation if things get crazy. But, uh, let's see. Do -do -do -do. Oh, God, it's a spider nest. Why? I have not seen another rock. I need rocks. What am I doing? I've just been collecting garbage. 
Where am I? Spider nest, wormhole. I need rocks. Rock of rock of rock. Rock 'em sock 'em robots. Ooh, flower. I'm gonna eat these. There's so much maintenance to this game. I mean, you're literally trying to keep yourself sane, which I'm doing pretty well with my flower hat, which is nice. It's maintaining it. It's not going to live for much longer, but it's keeping me from going crazy. What's in the water? I can't see the bottom. Go jump. Dive in. Oh, maybe this is where I can use my fishing pole. Hold my axe. Catch something. Oh. Oh god! Oh god, leave me alone! Leave me alone, I'm sorry! I didn't mean to make you mad. Please just leave me alone. I just want my gold. No, screw it, gold's not worth it. Why? Why are they everywhere? Why do they hate me? I didn't do anything to you. I was just fishing for gold. Come on, it's all piney. Take take my fishing pole. I want my axe back. Is that? Look, it's one of those pig guys again. These pigs have pretty fancy houses. This is literally an outhouse. What are you smoking? This is not the same. No, this is not the same forest I burned. This is just empty, barren wasteland. Okay. Eat the berries. No, that was flowers. Eat the flowers. Am I now at the edge of the... What is, what is that? Oh, that takes me to that menu. That's interesting. I got little hotkeys for that. Maybe I should read the instructions for these games before I actually play them. Because I just started playing this game. Thinking I was knowing everything. And was like, yeah, I can do better than other people I've seen play this game. And I don't think I've done much better. But uh, let's move on eat the damn thing. I can eat the honey. That's probably the best part of your day. Makes you happy. Yes, because it's all natural. Eat the natural. Hmm. Rocks, rocks, rocks. No rocks. No rocks. Lots of trees. No rocks. No rocks. Who berries? Oh god, we're gonna go back through the demons. I don't wanna go back through the demon area. The dog, the frogs. The monster frogs. Cause there's the pig guy. And he, oh god, frog, go away. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to make your life hard. Leave me alone, I'm sorry, don't hurt me. Look at me, grown man, fully scared of frogs. <gasps> My gold, run. Alright, now that I have bravely escaped the frog demons, let's move it along. <gasps> Maybe this is where I find rocks! Oh god, it's a giant chicken! Whew, almost lost my cool there. Yes, that is a quote from The Grinch Who Stole Christmas, and I freaking love that movie. That movie is one of the best movies not ever made, because that's a bit much. But one of the best little, like, editions of a Dr. Seuss thing. And I know a lot of people hated it, but I... F that was amazing. It was awesome. Me and my sisters, like... We will quote the crap out of that movie all year long. Also Elf, but it seems like Elf is, like, a normal phenomenon. Except for when they play it 6,000 times on USA. That drives me insane. I don't want to see it that many times in a Christmas season. I want to see it once, maybe twice. Maybe five times. Five times at the most. My girlfriend loves that movie as well. She has a t-shirt that says, like, Hi, this is Buddy the Elf. What's your favorite color? And she loves that. But, I don't know. I just... Replays of movies like that. Christmas movies. Just stop. Stop it. Stop it. Oh, God. It's a chicken thing. Go away, chicken thing. Oh, God. Don't hurt me. I'm sorry. Oh god, it's coming after me! Run! Get away from me, chicken demon! I'm gonna go 
find my science machine! And my garden. I hope there's no little stupid things that eat from my garden when I'm not there. I would be so mad. Oh my god, that would make me so irritated. Let's come on. Let's just run back to base. Come on, Chester. Keep up with me. I know you're a pumpkin with legs, but you can definitely keep up if you need to. Oh, see, it tells me right there. There's my garden. Awesome. Sometimes I just couldn't see crap on this map, and I would just imagine, like, things just disappear. I'm sure I have, like, ten science machines hanging out here, and, like, forty fires. Man, Smokey would be pissed. I can make a legit fire. Look at that. Look at how awesome that is. Let's see. More tools. Move the ground around. I don't really care about that right now. Well, I can't do anything with that garbage. Compass! How do I get papyrus? P -p -p papyrus. Healing salve. Ashes. Disinfect disinfectant for cuts and abrasions. Rocks. Spider gland. Hmm. Healing salve. That's what I was just looking at. Piggyback. What is this? Pig skin! Ooh. Carries a lot, but slows you down. That seems actually pretty gross. Honey polyjuice. I can't pronounce that word. Polyjuice? Is it polyjuice? Is it like that Harry Potter shit? Heal your minor wounds. Fur roll! I have a straw roll. Fur roll! Where's the fur? Bunny puff! That's kind of gross. Sleep through the night in comfort. Do I have to make a new bedroll every time? I would prefer if I didn't have to do that. Fur... Foot, football helmet. I thought it said fur ball. That's not right. Marble suit. That seems... That seems rather... Cumbersome. Mark your... Make your mark upon the world. Man, I just... Mark, 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 mark. <laughs> oh, maybe I should learn to make boards. Where do I learn to make boards? That's where I learn to make boards. Oh, maybe I need to put some... Oh, good, we're set. Everything is fine. Life is good. Not gonna die in the darkness. Um, you know what? I'm gonna plant some trees around here. Because I'm gonna need some more of these. Chester! Open up your face and hold my bind guns. I'm gonna pick this ring thing back up, and then you're gonna hold on to this. You are gonna hold on to this with your life, Chester! Now let's make some boards. I know it was saying I could make something. What else am I making? A sign, a hay wall. I need a chest. That's what I want. Um. Crap. Does anybody remember? That's what I was looking for. Alright, back to the science machine. Let's go make some stuff. No refining. We're gonna make this. And I'm gonna build it there. Perfect. Now I can just leave crap in here. Uh, I'll carry that with me. But what else do I need to leave in here? Gold. Nitrate. Leave the seeds here. Eat some of those. Oh god, I'm starving! Why am I st why am I starving? That's because I'm not paying attention to my actual life anymore. I'm literally rambling on about apocalypse and whatnot. But uh, let's build one last thing. Well, let's science machine this into building hay walls. Build. 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 Build, yes! Look at my four length wall. Harvest crop. I planted one carrot. That's awesome. Let's 
restore those. We are going to take these as well. All right. All right. Well, now that I've done more stuff, this is where I'll. This is about all I have time for right now. But uh, thank you all for joining me on this episode once again. Uh, hopefully, I'll come up with more stuff as we go. Um, look out for new ones because I'm working on some new games as well. All right, and I will see you all in the next video. Always remember who you are and what you are. Don't go cause any trouble out that world. And always use for breeze. Use for breeze. All right, guys. Bye bye. <laughs>